Hey there YouTube. Got a new build. Those of you that watch all the time, you know I'm, I've started on the uh, 1 14th scale Tamiya semi-truck craze again. I got back into the king hauler I had and I still hadn't finished. And we'll be working on that along with this. Now this is the new Tamiya Scania R470. It's a single drive axle tractor. Truck tractor. Tractor truck. However you say it. Wherever you're from, you say it all different. So, I'm going to do an unboxing video. This first one, and then we'll go through the build together. Alright, before we take the uh, lid off, I'm going to talk about this. This uh, Holy Grail, the multifunction control unit they advertise here on the box really really wanting one of those all the videos you watch on YouTube of these trucks they all have the sound and the lights and it it's just really neat it's neat how it's all integrated in the uh, apparently the control unit with that is an electronic speed controller which I did not know before reading this here and that's that's pretty cool um, my original plan was to take the uh, basic electronics from the King Hauler with the the four channel controller that I have and running this truck with it and then upgrading the stuff for the King Hauler but uh, I don't know those multifunction control units are expensive uh, the cheapest one I can find for this truck here in the United States is I'll say about three hundred and twenty dollars somewhere around that and that's more than the truck itself cost so may have to, to do some saving on that saving up for that um, but maybe maybe one day may have to start selling some other other vehicles <laughs> start paying for this these trucks aren't cheap to build Oop, that's my light up so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid off here Maybe. Maybe not. I've always loved Tamiya kits. I've had my first RC car was a Tamiya TA02 drift car, which I've made one of. I have over there. I've loved the Tamiya kits. I love the quality, the clarity of the instructions, just everything about them. They're they're just well designed, well engineered. And they're they're not overly complicated to build. They're durable. It's really good stuff. So let's lean this up here. Well, it's heavy. We have plastic, plastic, a couple boxes. So I guess we'll start over here with the plastic stuff. Let me make sure I get all this in frame for you. I'm gonna go ahead and back the camera up a little bit. And one of these days I'm going to get a new camera. That way I don't have to wait for this. <laughs> one day. I guess that'll be before or after I get that multifunction control unit. So we've got body parts, roof, interior, seats, steering wheel. Not sure what some of that is. We have the bumper, fairings, the grill. Oops, can't see that. And on the back side, we've got our fuel tanks and some chassis parts, cross member, little air tank. And got more fenders, front fenders, the scoops for the side of the cab. Not sure where those go. In the picture. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Just a bunch of body parts. And the second container we have the cab. It's pretty neat. Looks like a basic truck. This that's the main reason I bought this kit. I, I wanted to get back into this more and I've got that, that King Holler build so extensive 
it's going to be a while before that's up and running. So I wanted to get something to kind of get my, my blood flowing again with the, the semi-trucks. And I bought this because it was the cheapest one. Right now, uh, the, most of them are around three to $400. I think the King Hauler I got for like 370 Then the uh, there's a couple little Mercedes Benz, a little single axle tractor like this. But they, they seem to have gotten a little more expensive. And this one I found here in the United States for 284 free shipping. And they shipped it in, I got here in two and a half days, which is amazing for free shipping on eBay. I bought that from Omni Models, I believe, on eBay. And it's a pretty big hobby shop. They have a website and stuff. And uh, I've, I've bought stuff from them before. They've been good to me so far. But yeah, 284 This this is the cheapest to me a 114th scale truck that I could find and I like the Scania I'm not too familiar with these European model trucks you know United States so we got Peterbilt's, Kenworth, Freightliners we got some Volvos now but not many actually unless there's little small trucks we don't have any giant over the road long haul cab over trucks everything we have has a big old long hood on it so these interest me I like the cab tilts forward it's different so this is, this is going to be kind of learning experience too, to learn more about these things and see how they how they tick see how they compare to what I know working at Peterbilt yeah, we got some windows and we got some chassis parts there's our battery tray our dovetail for the end of frame We've got some more cross members, servo mounts. I like how to me a lot of the stuff is recycled. A lot of the stuff is same from kit to kit. Do you recognize that? I think that battery tray, well, it's similar to the one that's on uh, the night hauler truck. And it's it's similar to, kind of similar to what came on the to me a high lift F350 that I used to have. You got some fenders. We've got, there's our rear fenders, looks like our electronics tray and front seat mounts, deck plate, not sure what that piece is, some spacers, I know those spacers go on the front leaf springs, I've done a couple of those on the uh, King Hauler, I had to find some new ones, and we've got windshield wipers, that looks like our tail lights. And license plate mount, uh, mirrors, and is it a roof rack. It's like a roof rack. Man, that would look great on a on a rock crawler. That's a perfect roof rack. Any of you guys that build one tenth scale rock crawlers, that that piece right there off. This is the R R uh, parts tree. Letter R. That would be great on, it would even work on drift cars. That, that would fit on one tenth scale drift car roof. That would make an awesome roof rack. I guess and it's a roof rack. I don't know. I don't see that on the picture, but maybe it's an option. Uh, that's all for that bin. I'm trying to keep everything organized until I'm ready to get started on this. So I don't lose anything. Keep it all in the box, tucked away. Uh, let's go ahead and pull of these boxes out. I haven't cut the tape on these yet. I gotta find the knife. I clean. Can't find nothing. There's some scissors. Alright. Alright, we have our front grill and looks like cab fairings. We have our rear axle covers and our engine, our three-speed transmission outer case. We've got our rear wheels, our front wheels, We've got our fifth wheel. That's your trailer fifth wheel connection. We've got a giant metal antenna. Not sure what that. That might come in handy for a rock crawler too. Cut it down a little bit, you got a nice CB antenna. 
<laughs> we've got our gears for our three speed we've got clear lenses and our headlights and our mirrors it actually has semi-chrome mirror pieces that's nice oh and hiding down in here are our frame rails so short used to these king hauler ones that I've been doing are three foot long this is barely 13 14 inches it's just the nice to me of quality I mean it even has stamped on here right and left so you know there's no confusion it's really really nice stuff and these are the ones that are tapped they're threaded so that's always easy. That's one of the issues I'm going to have with the King Hauler build is none of the holes on that custom frame are threaded. So I'm not going to thread them. I, I hate tapping and threading holes. <laughs> so it'll be just bolting everything. That'll be a little bit extra time consuming. And this must be our metal box because it is heavy. Oops, it's not in there in the bottom. Got our instruction manual and decals. And they give you some of their screaming chicken stickers. That's some pretty detailed dash graphics. Some not so detailed steps or handles or something I won't use. License plates, emblems. Not too bad. I think there's another piece in there. We'll worry about that later. Cut this one open. This one's got some weight. This has got to have all of our. It's got our tires in it. We can see that from the uh, outside. Do both sides. Yeah, there's metal in there. Yep. There's nut. Should have been prepared. All right. Yeah, here's the meat. Got our tires. Here's some. That's your. Uh, I think that's for the transmission, the shift rod. Leave that one over there. So I don't lose that. Tool bag. We've got a pretty good size thing of grease. A nice big tube of thread lock. It's nice of them to include. Got some two side of tape. A little couple rods in there, Allen wrenches, basic Tamiya tool kit, tool kit, sorry. Bag B, got our front axle, that is metal, feel the weight to it. Got our leaf spring and our shackles, all the front suspension components in bag B. Bag C, I'm guessing is the rear leaf springs, looks like they have a little bit more, they have three leafs on them. We've got our rear axle components, gears, uh, screws, what's that? I'm not sure what that one's for. We'll find out. Got some, uh, I bet that's something to do with the cab mounting. Just a guess. Uh, screw bag. So we've got shock mounts, more screws, other shaft, steering. This one is our transmission. It's got the little things, <laughs> forks. Change the gears. We've got some metal gears. A bunch of dang bushings. I'm gonna have to. I've got a bunch of bearings, but I don't know if I have enough to do the whole thing. We'll see how that goes. That may hold up the project a little bit. That's all of our transmission stuff. Got our stock Tamiya Mubachi, Mabuchi. I always said Mubachi. Little can motor, 550 size. And bag E, mud flaps. Not sure what that is either. A few little metal bits, hubs. So that's it for our metal box. There's one video on YouTube. I I don't know what it's all about. It just shows this truck. It's all in. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I don't want to be rude. It's in a different language. I'm not sure what language. It's all the text on it is either Japanese or some type of dialect like that that I don't know. But the video is this truck built with the multifunction control unit and he's just running through a test of all the features and it, it's pretty cool. That that is what made me finally go ahead and, and order one of these. I was seeing that guy's video on YouTube. Um so excited about it. I, I'm gonna build it all stock first, other than upgrading the ball bearings. Just to uh you know, see where we're at. Once we get done with that king hauler, get it up and running, then we might come back and do more more mods to this. I'd really like to upgrade the, the wheels and stuff, but I'm gonna do all that first on the king hauler, and that's gonna be a lot more expensive because there's twice as many tires and wheels on it. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, check back, there'll be some more videos up shortly of this and the king hauler. So please like it, subscribe, share, have a good day. Thank you.